is on the issue of the Snake River dams. Oh, okay. And I, I thought that during re various recesses, I would get an offer of a meeting. I Again, I reiterate my offer to go to Washington. I know things are uh, really busy there now. And um, this is not high on her priority list, I'm sure. However, I just want to know what her position is. And I, I want to know why there has been no response whatsoever. And I do want a meeting. If it's only a 15 minute meeting, I want a meeting. Well, I can certainly uh, make sure that this get, makes its way to Washington DC for you. You. Um, you know, I'm sure, as you know, so much is happening right now. Um, I can tell you we're just, even in our state office, has been a huge increase in constituents mm -hmm. who are concerned about everything with the budget, the budgets, the immigration ban, the and it's, reforms. And right, it's and if on only, on. if only she or Mike had written back to me last summer, we wouldn't have this log jam. But <laughs> also, I, I would like her to identify with specificity what her position is. We have been told that she opposes reaching the Snake River dams. Is that true or is that just urban myth? Because it is widely believed and it seems to be the case. She had the opportunity, President Obama was ready to breach the dams and all it took was a phone call from Senator Murray. There have been people calling her, asking her, writing her at that time when he was willing to order the Corps to bypass the dams. She wouldn't make a phone call. So it does substantiate the belief that she opposes breaching the dams. We want to know, is that true? And if so, why? That's all we want to hear. We'd also, of course, like to persuade her if that is true that she's wrong, but I would like very much to have the opportunity to speak with her. Okay, well, again, happy to pass this on. Like Thank you very much. I understand.